Hello students, welcome to the class of Applied Zoology. Today we are learning two non-insect pests corresponding to theory course. Let us begin with study of rat. Rat is a non-insect pest which is economically very important. Rats are household and also agricultural pests belonging to class Mammalia. In India, the common species of rats are black rat, which is Rattus rattus, house mouse, mus muscu musculus, common Indian field mouse, mus musculus boduga, and brown rat of Norway, Rattus norvegicus. The rats are medium sized and long tailed rodents. Body length is 9 to 11 inches and Tail length is 7 to 9 inches. Males are slightly heavier than female, ranging from 450 to 650 grams and female ranging from 350 to 450 grams in weight. Rice fields rat are black to brown in color. They have scaly, keenly fur tail and distinctive chisel-like incisors. The rice field rat, Rattus argentiventer, is the major rodent pest and is distinguished by a tuft of red hair at the base of its ear. Fur on the back or orange brown flecked with black and a silvery white ventrum. These vertebrate rodents cause damage to agricultural crop plants in the field as well as in the storage area. So this is how they cause the damage. Symptoms of damage through these rodents include chopped young seedlings, irregular cuttings of stem, patches of depression seen in the field at early stages, chewed developing birds or ripening grains, tillers cut in the patches at ripening stage, they cut the ears at near heads and store it in their Burrows. These rats foul the atmosphere and surrounding of human habitation to such an extent that it becomes intolerable for man. This pest not only consume considerable quantity of food, they foul and contaminate much more by urine, feces, hairs and sebaceous secretions. They act as a vector for transmission of several diseases to human beings. They seem to damage food and feed store packaging materials and containers facilitating the destruction and contamination of foodstuffs. Economically, these are important pests. They damage the stored grains. Several types of diseases are known to be transmitted by rats and besides consuming considerable quantity of food, they contaminate much more by urine, feces and hairs and sebaceous secretions. So this is how rats are very dangerous. They cause, this is how they cause damage to us. What are the control measures of rat? Rats are traditionally caught by using various types of rodent trap and killed by appropriate method. Cats are the natural enemies of rodents. Hence rural people traditionally domesticate the cat. Maintenance of cleanliness and hygiene is important in keeping away the, this pest. Store food in plastic or metal containers, cleaning of backyard and rodent inhabiting places of, on, uh, on regular basis reduces the chances of rodent pest. Electro cutting using iron fences carrying electricity are placed around the field and burrows of rats in night to kill the rat. Use of ultrasonic devices can be used to kill the rats. Chemically, we can control the rats. Popular rodenticide which can be used as poison bait and are very effective on rats are zinc phosphide, barium carbonate, white arsenic, pula seeds that is strachinos, nux vomica, warfarin and mushmush etc. This is how we can control rat. 
the next method which can also be effective in controlling rat is fumigation it involves treating of rat burrows with fumes of poisonous substances called as cyanogas a dust or sulfur tablets are effective for controlling this pest our next our next non insect pest is crab the crabs are arthropod organisms belonging to the class crustacea is one of the dominating group among these freshwater crabs are having reputation as pest of paddy crops so these are the common paddy pests found in maharashtra crabs have flat and oval body cephalothorax is large broader and converted with carapace these are covered with carapace the socket of the carapace bears antennules and eye stalks well developed five pairs of thoracic legs are present and first pair of leg is chelate which is used for offense and defense purpose abdomen is segmented and is bent under cephalothorax fitting into the groove in thoracic sternum abdomen remains invisible from the dorsal surface what are the what are the nature of damage crabs cause heavy damage to paddy crop they cut the young paddy plants near the ground level and carry them to their burrows for feeding they damage young seedlings in nursery and newly transplanted fields the seedlings are cut near the ground level into small bits these bits are carried to their burrows for feeding in older plants outer sheaths are cut open and the tender inner portion is consumed in an attack field beds of leaves and stem can be seen floating on water in severely affected fields patches of damage can be seen crab prepares the burrows on the sides of the barns in paddy field that disrupts the irrigation bed prepared by the farmers this crab pulls leads to water loss from paddy fields this water is not retained in the field economically these are very important pest species they are commonly known as rice field crab or freshwater crabs and are active during night in rice field causing severe damage crabs live in the hole made in sides of the field barns irrigation channels and field corners where water does not stand so this is how crabs are important pest and they cause may damage to the paddy field how we can control crabs crab is a major crustacean pest of paddy crop it require intensive control collection and destruction of crab using petromax at night in the beginning of rainy season is suggested to control for the loss pollution of of crab can be controlled by baiting the bait can be prepared using 5% ddt plus 1% dial ring or 0.08% end ring with rich syrup of 0 with rich syrup or 0.5% end ring or parathion at the rate of 80 to 100 ml crabs burrows can be fumigated with cyanogas to control the pest so this is all about the two important non insect pest thank you